Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the GMK Tech Nook Box G1. Now to upgrade the SSD and the RAM, all you have to do is start unscrewing the bottom panel here. Now once you have all of the screws off, all you have to do is pry off the panel. I usually like to use the screwdriver in this little indent here just to pop it out. And then from there, you just gently pull it off. Now that we're inside the system, very quickly you can see all of the different expansion ports that we have. We have a full-size NVMe drive drive at the top a 2230 ssd at the bottom below that and then of course we have the ram slot here to upgrade the ram is a really really simple process all you have to do is just pry off little metal prongs here and it'll come out and you can just pull it out now this system only supports an upgrade up to 16 gigabytes of ram so you put your one stick here because it is also single channel ram you pretty much just need to slot it in push down and it'll grab on now i was also going to upgrade the ssd SSD by adding a 2230 sized SSD into here but unfortunately that is just taking a lot longer because I had to buy it on eBay and so far it's still going to be another week before it arrives but the process for installing it on there is pretty much identical to doing a full-size SSD in this case I'm going to be installing this one terabyte crucial p3 SSD this is a very inexpensive SSD that I'm putting in here because of the fact that this specific chip limits the bandwidth of the NVMe ports anyway, so you don't really need anything ultra high speed, and especially since it's just a PCI 3 anyway. After you remove the SSD, you can see here the Wi-Fi chip, as well as the CMOS battery if you ever need to remove that if the system is just not working right for you. All you have to do is slot in the new SSD and just screw it down. It pretty much works the exact same way if you're going to be installing your own 2230 SSD as well. It's just a much smaller size, but in general, upgrading the system is extremely, extremely easy and it actually does have some nice expandability. Anyways, I'll catch you next time.